Welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Garmin Forerunner 255 tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to calibrate the different sensors available on your Garmin Forerunner 255. So this includes the sensors for your altimeter, barometer, and then also your compass. So if you notice any issues with those, in this video I'll show you how to go into the settings and hopefully calibrate and fix those issues. So as you can see here, I have the ABC widget added to my watch. And this gives me the ability to see all three different sensors at one time. If you notice any issues with this widget, we can go ahead and start calibrating them by going back to the home screen here where your watch face is at and just hold the up button for a second. This will open the menu and here we just want to go down until we get to sensors and accessories. Select it using the start or stop button. And then we want to go to the first option, which is compass. Once we select compass, we can change some different options for it if you want to. And then to calibrate it, just select calibrate. And I recommend putting your watch on for this. So what I do is I kind of just move it back and forth. And as you can see, calibration complete. It does not take very long to do that. And then your compass should be calibrated. After the compass, we can go down and calibrate the altimeter. So I can go in there, more options I can change. If I select calibrate, we'll get a couple different options. You can set your current elevation manually and that'll help calibrate it. You can also use GPS. So if we select use GPS, it's going to use GPS to find your current location. And then from there, determine your current elevation and that will calibrate the altimeter. Once it gets up here to calibrate, all I need to do is select start and then the calibration will be complete. After altimeter, we have the barometer, and to calibrate that, just select it, go into calibrate, and then we have the same options for entering manually or using GPS for our elevation. So I'll go through that process again, and then the calibration will be completed. So very similar to the altimeter. All right, so that's how you calibrate the sensors on your Garmin Forerunner 255. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Garmin Forerunner 255 tutorial videos, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up, and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.